Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome to this, our podcast on this Sunday. Now I really hope you're well, you've had a wonderful week, you're in good spirits, you're happy and you're healthy. Those are really, really important things. I always love to start the podcast like that because I think if we can focus on our health and our happiness, then won't we just have a wonderful life? Um, now today in the UK where, where I'm based, it's Mother's Day. And so I just wanted to say happy Mother's Day to all of the, the mums, sisters, aunties, nannies, and kind of every every carer in this world that looks after their family or somebody they know. Look, I know it's Mother's Day, but I just think it's a wonderful opportunity not only to celebrate mothers and, you know, typical females in, in families, but let's celebrate everyone who has that caring role and say, you know what, great job, keep going, because the things that you do to look after somebody is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So. As this is Mother's Day, I'm celebrating Mother's Day with Jermaine and our two boys. And so this is going to be a short podcast today, but I didn't want to leave it without speaking to you because I really love to kind of speak to you every week, either Jermaine or I. So, but what I did want to talk to you about today, because Mother's Day kind of got me thinking about um, something that I think is, is quite important to me, and you can decide for yourself whether it's important to you and what you feel about it, is actually how important it is to me to understand my why. And you may think, oh, you know, what do you mean by that? What do you mean your why? But if you've got something in your life that is the reason why you are working so hard on something, then doesn't it become a lot easier to do that thing? If you're working hard on something, but you don't actually know why. I, I think a lot about this sometimes with children in school. Um, if they're doing something they don't actually want to do, they don't know why they're doing it, they don't put the effort in. But actually, when they've got something, you know, that they love, that they're creative about or that they're working towards kind of that special project or something like that, then you just see this wonderful creativity and happiness and work ethic and this kind of like energy that comes from children when they're doing that. And I think the same is, goes for us as well. Um, you know, those things when you're you're maybe focused on doing something for someone special in your life, you may search that it's a bit harder for that perfect gift or, you know, you won't. You're, you won't give up until you find something that you really, really want, that extra energy, that extra boost, that extra distance that you go to do that um, is your kind of why for doing it. And it means that you kind of, you put in that effort and that energy. And so I think if we can uncover what our why is for some of the other things in our lives, like our financial decisions or our financial planning or who we want to be in the future, um, a lot of it, I think, should start with us. Ultimately, we should do things for ourselves because that is that kind of the ultimate why. Um, in my view, you obviously can have your own your own why. So I'm just sharing what I'm thinking in the hope that it may help you. If it resonates with you, then great. And if not, then you can think about, OK, no, that's not actually my my why, my reason for doing things. But let me consider what my my reason is. Um, Yes, yeah, so I think if we can kind of get to the crux of that, of what our, what's our why, what's our, why are we doing the things that we do? Why do we put in the effort, you know, to budget, to plan, to make good financial decisions, to learn, to keep growing? What, why are we doing it? If we can understand that why, then that can be your focus, your motivation, you know, when times are a bit tougher. I always think to myself, particularly around kind of personal finances, when, when I want to kind of splash out on that thing or I do kind of like don't want to spend the time trying to think about, you know, what the best decision is for for a particular thing. Then if I think about why I'm doing something, then I'm more likely to put that effort in. So I think it can really help us um, in our decision making. It can also, you know, isn't it wonderful when you know what you're working towards or you've got this big this big reason for doing something? And I think if you can decide and um, focus on what your ultimate why is, then really it can help you a lot, not only in terms of what you're working towards, but actually in gratitude, you know, because we can be, if we've got that ultimate why, we can be so grateful for what that is, because usually it's something that's going to mean something to us. I've never really heard of anybody says that, you know, they want to make good financial decisions just because they want to be rich money usually isn't the ultimate thing that people want money is a means to do something that people want and whether that is you know spend more time with their family or you know do charity work or 
be able to provide something for somebody else, whether that's your family or your friends, an elderly relative or like charity work. If you kind of keep breaking it down and say, you know, well, ultimately, what is it? I think we realise that, you know, it's not, it's not money. It's the thing that you can do with that money, that kind of um, either that experience or that, that thing that you can do with it. That is your ultimate why. So I just want to leave that with you there and just say um, I hope that's been helpful the purpose of me talking about this was not to tell you what your why should be or anything like that but it's really like just consider actually whether you know what your why is and if you don't then how could it help you to know what that is and um, what are the benefits to you of trying to understand what that why is in terms of the decisions that you make and ultimately your outcomes so just something there to think about so I will leave it there. I really hope that you have a truly wonderful week ahead. You stay happy, you stay healthy, and I really look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Now you take care of yourselves. Okay, guys. Bye.